going on everybody? It's Pastor Doja here again. Today is another Think About It Thursday and y'all know I'm just trying to give you something to think about. Listen, if you can today, please share this video. Encourage somebody, man. Somebody needs to smile. Somebody needs to laugh. Guess what? Somebody needs something to think about and more than ever, somebody needs prayer. If that person is you, send your prayer request to the link to the email below. I believe in prayer and I promise you, I pray for you. All right. That's the sign of what? Be congratulating that internet because it's never failed. Guess what? No matter when I get on it, it always wins. Y'all check this out. This is why. Bel Air homeowner confronted a man she could see inside her house via the Ring security camera app. Her fear at a peak because as the intruder, who is naked for most of the time, made himself at home, taking a swim, walking around inside, man, her is, husband was this is crazy. upstairs showering. I got a call from my wife saying, where are you? I said, huh? Why are you calling me? I'm here. I know there's somebody here. I'm like, I'm here. He's like, I know, I know there's somebody downstairs I'm seeing from the camera. And I just was in disbelief. Moments later, <laughs> watch here as Matt Sobs came face to face with the man. So my initial reaction was just scream and what? say, hey, what are you doing in my house? Hoping that he would just go away or say he got the wrong house. Uh, but I know good he well he, he ain't closed the door. He said he was going to call the police on me. Oh. He jumped off the second floor balcony onto his car to escape and call police. Security camera video shows as officers caught 34-year-old Paul Kyan still inside, still insisting he belonged there. My house. Sub says security video also shows the suspect killing the family's two birds. It could have been a lot worse if my kids were. Oh! <laughs> Somebody tell me what just happened! I... Jesus is coming back! Jesus is coming back! What's happening that people want to break into your house naked? And they don't want to steal nothing? Uh, I got some questions. First question is. What did you thought you were gonna do with the finger pistol when he when he said, "Hey, you, get out of here"? <laughs> what are you gonna do with the finger pistol? <laughs> and, and, and the naked man looks ass like I ain't scared of your finger. <laughs> this guy go out though. Now I'ma tell y'all right now, it's one thing to say, "Baby, you know what I'm saying, dude was crazy. He had a pistol and everything." You know what I'm saying? You on video? The internet done caught you, lady. You gotta be careful with all these men right here talking gangster, and you you mess around and be at work. Hey, this grown man, y'all, jump out the second floor window on his car. Look at him in his little drawer. <laughs> hey, if you a wife right now, throw your whole husband away. Just pack up and go on back and move with your mama. Listen to this. If your husband done jumped out the way, he jumped out of your house. <laughs> I should be laughing, you know what I'm saying? Because, because, uh, uh <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Ladies, ladies, uh, ladies, does anybody feel like, no, let's look at it another way. He's not a violent man. He obviously doesn't carry any firearms. Um, he brought out the, the finger pistol. That's <laughs> what the birds, I don't know what the birds did, but he just killed the birds for, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not laughing. I'm animal cruelty. Please don't. I just, I, I don't understand why. Why a naked man break out? I don't want to kill a bird. Don't steal nothing. I, I mean, I'm not laughing at that. Something just ain't right here. I don't know. And I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. I, we out of time. Uh, here's the real. Here is the real. Here's the real. We live in some crazy times with crazy people. A lot of the stuff we're seeing in our world today don't make no sense. Listen, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that, hey, as far as the heavens are from the earth, so are God's thoughts from our thoughts, which means a lot of times um, we don't think like God thinks. My only question is, is it possible that somebody could be videoing your life? Somebody could be recording your life, watching your life, viewing your life, and based upon your actions, based upon uh, what you look like, uh, based upon what you say you're pursuing, Versus your actions. We look at your life. And it don't make no sense. Think about it.